Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be doing a part two of the video that I did like, it must have been over a year ago now. The video that broke my wallet into smithereens. Okay, we're doing it again. Trying expensive swimsuits. Now I believe I said it in my last video, but I'll say it again. I don't know why, maybe I'm the only one who shares this opinion, but swimsuits are just so little fabric. I just feel like they shouldn't be really expensive. But trust me, there are so many brands with very, very, very pricey swimsuits. And I don't blame you guys for being curious about them because I too am curious. What makes them so much better than a $20 Target swimsuit? What makes them so much more expensive than a full dress? What makes that small amount of fabric worth so much more? There's three for no reason. I don't know what I'm doing. So last year when we did a video like this, I believe we dived into four expensive swimsuit brands. Today we're going to be diving into five. I asked you guys on Instagram which brands you are itching to see and the consensus were these five. There were definitely a few other ones. So if you guys wanna eventually see a part three in this video, hopefully those will be included. You guys know I'm always down to spend on whatever you guys wanna see, whether I need it or not. Uh, I'm down to purchase items that you guys want to see so that you do not have to spend the money if it is not worth it. So most of these brands I've actually never even heard of. You guys completely introduced me to a whole new world. I have yet to go on any of the websites. I've just searched them up and I have them all ready to go on my phone for us to search through them. So the first portion of this video is going to be the shopping and then the second portion is going to be me trying them on BOD. So without further ado, let's get shopping for very expensive swimsuits. Okay, so the first swimsuit brand that I'm going to go to is the most requested from you guys. You guys were very, very curious for me to try Hoka swimwear. I hope I'm saying that correctly. This one actually is the only one that I did in fact know of. Now, okay, so COVID right now, the shipping might be delayed, no problem, not a big deal. We will wait. Okay, it's neoprene. Okay, there's a spot for Eco Hoka. Okay, what is this? So made from recycled plastic. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Royal Eco Hoka set. Now I'm very interested to try one of these obviously because especially if we try it on next to the not recycled one, I wanna see if we can tell a difference. Oh no, the top is not available. Oh my goodness, it's all out of stock. Well, I mean, I guess that's a good thing. People are buying the eco-friendly swimsuit, but for us, that is not a good thing right now. Okay, let's go to the full sets. So I think I'll get like one or two swimsuits from each brand just to try it out. So let us look through, oh my goodness, sparkling holographic. Now, I always try and get ones that I think you guys would like, not necessarily the ones that I would like. I actually, from the last video, I donated most of those swimsuits. So I usually don't end up wearing them personally too much. I'm very intrigued to find like a neoprene one piece because from what I know from neoprene, it's very like not super stretchy. So like for me, a long torsoed woman, I feel like a neoprene one piece might be a little bit uncomfortable. So maybe I should give this a try. $69 US, so in Canadian it is this much. I'm Canadian as you guys know, so I'll be paying a little bit of a premium for US pricing. They should definitely more make more eco-friendly ones. Like it's sold out, clearly a lot of people want them. Okay, now the next one, I wanna just do something kind of basic. I like this like holographic dot one. Okay, so I'm gonna do... What size am I? Oh, and then it gives like the different options for bottoms. Nice, that's good to know. I have no idea which one I'll want. Okay, I'm gonna go for a small top. Even though I might be an extra small, I'm gonna stick with a small. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna need a small. Are all of them sold out? Hip mesh. Okay, well, I think that's the one she's wearing and it's the only one that's available. So like when you're picking through this website, it seems like a lot of things are sold out. So just like don't get overly excited until you ensure you have your size. Okay, so here are the two swimsuits. We got the melon neon pink set and that is $69 and then the one piece all black. And this equaled out to $138 US for two swimsuits. Ooh, the shipping is free. 
order is complete. It is on the way. Perfect. 437, that's the name, <laughs> I guess. It's called Shop 437. Now, I had never heard of this, of course, because I live under a rock. These swimsuits are beautiful, obviously. This is interesting because always wearable thing, no wait, what is it? Many wearable different ways tops confuse me. And like, if we end up buying one of these, I'm going to try and do at least like three of these and I don't know how it will work because like this is so many options and I've definitely seen like Instagram models wear some of these and I'm like I did not know that you could just take a triangle, a basic triangle top and turn it into so many different options. My gosh, look how high up these hips are. Pretty blue, pretty mint color. Okay, then now we have a different style top, the Luna top. Is this the one that you can wear many different styles? Hold on. We should definitely get this one. Now, what color should I get it in though? I'm gonna look so busted in this, my goodness. I think blue would be pretty. So I'm gonna grab, <gasps> sold out. Ugh, how rude. Oh my goodness, like everything's sold out. What? Like, I just really wanted to try this swimsuit. Okay, it's sold out in every single one. Ooh, okay, I could get it in the color towel in medium. Now, I don't usually wear a medium, especially not on top, you guys know this, but I really feel like I could just tie it tighter, like worst case scenario, so maybe we should give it a go. Okay, I'm gonna add it to cart, but I'm- A hundred and twenty dollars? I'm scared. Okay, the bottoms that are available do not come in my size. Okay, this one, it looks like she's wearing with the top. <laughs> I'm sorry, these bottoms are not it for me. Um, but you know what? Just cause I don't necessarily like them doesn't mean you guys won't. So let's get them. They come in my size. They look like they're gonna match the top. It's what the model's wearing. They're $64, which seems a little much. Okay, I don't want to like repeat myself like a thousand times. So like, let's just keep going. Like they're expensive. We know this. The one piece is cute. Like this one right here. Where is that one? Is that this it? This one's cute. $134 for this baby. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but like when I go swimming, like I am truly flailing around in the pool. Like people think I'm like 12 years old and like, or I'm in the ocean and I'm like flopping around trying to learn how to surf. Like I've never really in a situation that I would feel comfortable in at a $130 swimsuit. But you know what? They exist for a reason, clearly. So let's do it. $339 Canadian for two swimsuits. So let me just check out. <laughs> let me just, <laughs> let me just pay $300 for two swimsuits. <laughs> Give me a minute. Like, are you guys trying to break my bank account, you silly gooses? Then I won't be able to make any videos. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. That's crazy. Like, could you imagine just like walking into someone's room and all their bathing suits are from 437 and you know darn well that each swimsuit's like almost $200. Next, we are going to do Dippin' Daisies. Now, this is another one I've never heard of, but it sounds really cute. Let us look. Ooh, neon swimsuits immediately pokes up at me. They know I love neon swimsuits right now. Okay, so this is the neon collection. Uh, they have a bunch of different ones though, let's see. Ooh, these are cute. Oh my goodness, okay, $34 bottoms and a $38 top. That is a breath of fresh air from what I've been seeing. I must admit, I'm honestly pretty enthused about that. Not super affordable, but definitely better than what I was expecting. These are cute. Oh my gosh. I'm loving all the color. So adorbs. What the frick? Six basic styles and then they offer each one in every single color. So basically you have to pick like your favorite style look and then from there you can pick the color. Like for instance, say this top was one that I really specifically wanted. I'd click on it and then as you can see down here, it comes in like all the patterns. So here it is again, here it is in orange, in the yellow stripes, that's really cute. Okay, that's so cute. Okay, so now we have a discussion to have. 
which one candy tie-dye or burn tie-dye i'm feeling candy tie-dye so for the top i'm gonna go with an extra small maybe you know not blessed up top okay it's sold out awesome hold on a second i'm upset instantly okay so that's not available the fact that they're sold out in every single one are you kidding me okay so my gosh now it's like just the hunt to like find something that's not sold out Alrighty, so just give me like a second to find something that's not sold out Ooh, okay this one's available oh my gosh okay these ones are kind of basic but they are available which is big so we're gonna go ahead and get this one what is even in my cart right now like i honestly don't even know okay so i have this orange set which is cute not the same bottoms that she's wearing. What are those bottoms? Because I want those bottoms. <sighs> she's looking at me like, you want these bottoms? Yeah, so does everyone else. Okay, we have the orange swimsuit. Good. Okay, now we have to find one more. Oh, this is available in neon? I didn't know that. It's just not available in tie-dye. Okay, we'll get this one. Now, hopefully the bottoms are available. Yeah! The extra small was sold out, but the small is not. Holy, I'm gonna like check out as fast as humanly possible. Is this glitching out? Did I add two to my cart? Okay, so we have two swimsuits. They're really not like super fun patterns, which is making me feel like, should I just grab one more? And maybe I should grab a one piece. I'm gonna get it in a small. Is it not available? Oh, it is, okay. The super fruit is just so cute. I feel like we have to get that pattern in something. So $60 one piece and then $34 bottoms, $36 top. Definitely more reasonable than uh, the last brand we saw, but still more expensive so hopefully this ships to canada now that i'm thinking about it oh my goodness all right my order is complete lots of things were sold out though which is a little bit of a bummer but i mean that just means that the brand's doing good so kudos to them but make more stock <laughs> Okay, so now we have C. Foley, which I feel like I've heard about before. Excuse me? You, what? Not able to ship to Canada? They do not ship to Canada, so goodbye. Okay, so the last brand we are going to try is We Wore What. Now, I think that this was the most expensive it kind of reminded me a little bit of revolve so let's take a look and see what there is oh my lord see what i mean 144 dollars for a top i mean it's super cute obviously but that is a pretty penny it's intriguing me though because it is so expensive it has me wondering like why are you so expensive <laughs> <laughs> so many adorable prints like whoever is in charge of making these prints Should get a raise because these are adorable. Okay, this one's available. This is so strange Like this honestly looks like a face mask. Okay, I'm just adding this for right now I'm not sold on this one and then this one is the other one that I think is really cute Okay, all the one pieces scream 60s to me. Oh my goodness. Look at these ones. $295? I'm offended and intrigued all at once. I'm feeling like I should pick the swimsuit that I could possibly wear as a shirt. Because then maybe we could wear it as a shirt. Ooh, she looks good. Okay, $295. There's a tear coming out of my eyes. How much is this order? $900. I think in my last swimsuit video, I think the total that was spent was $900. Okay, the We Wore What is confirmed. It's actually interesting because it says, please note, we've automatically applied a 20% discount to your order to assist with shipping duties and tax fee, which is really sweet, but it also makes me nervous. <laughs> like, am I going to get like a duty fee on this? Like, I will let you guys know. So we have all the swimsuits ordered. 
so extremely expensive this is insane like these videos are probably the most pricey but i feel like hopefully they are helpful if you guys have ever been curious about these expensive swimsuit brands we are going to put them to a te the test so without further ado i will flip to when i get all of these in the mail we will try them on and see if they are worth the big bucks let's do that all right you guys so it's been around three to four weeks and i have officially all the swimsuit packages here now i would be lying to say that this was simple to get all these it wasn't just placing the order waiting a certain amount of time and receiving the packages i ran into so many issues and i don't know if it was myself making the issues or what it was but either way i will get into it a little bit as we reach the brands that caused issues but yeah i have everything whether it's exactly perfect i have yet to know we're going to try everything on and see if these swimsuits are worth their high price tag so let's dive in okay so the first package i want to dive into is from hoka swimwear and on here it does say made up of cornstarch, eco-friendly, 100% compostable, good for the environment. So I think that they're talking about the bag this is packaged in, and if that's true, that's really good. Okay, this just says how to take care of your swimsuit, hand wash, lay your swim sw swimsuit in a blah, 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 blah. Okay, so here are the two swimsuits we picked up. This pink one is so bright, and the funny thing about Neoprene, if you guys have never held it before, it holds its shape like as you can see usually a fabric would just kind of like flop down but this very much holds its shape it's nice and thick it feels just like when i tried triangle swimwear it feels like that but maybe even a little bit thicker here is the matching top it's got this really really pretty bright neon pink with the white and then mesh up on the triangles i think this is going to be pretty good so let's try this one on quickly this is a really interesting fabric because if you've never had a swimsuit that's neoprene you won't really know what i'm talking about but it's very like thick but it's not super, super tight. I will say though, I usually wear a small on the bottom, but I will say with this fabric that isn't as stretchy, I probably would have sized up in the bottoms. They're a little bit tight. As you can see in the boot region, they're a little bit tight. Other than that though, I really, really like this swimsuit. I like the mesh, I like the pieces together. It's a very cheeky bottom, which I probably wouldn't usually wear, but I think for this style, I kind of get it. I like it. I definitely think if I saw someone on a beach wearing this, I would think that it was a very cute swimsuit. I like in the back, the crisscross and the adjustable straps. Altogether, I think this is a really well-made swimsuit and I really like this one and I love the pink. Okay, the next swimsuit from Hoka is a one piece now this feels a lot different this almost feels like a pleather like this does not feel like a swimsuit to me actually it feels a little bit softer it's interesting though because on the inside it has almost like a felt feeling which doesn't feel like it would be water safe and then on the outside it's like a very pleather almost like rain jacket feel to it this one should be very interesting this definitely doesn't feel like any swimsuit i've ever felt before and this has a very open back it doesn't have a built-in bra but it almost has like a built-in little sports bra with just another extra layer so we will see how that looks on let's give it a go i'm very curious to try this one on <laughs> all right zipper up here is this black swimsuit on now, I am a long torso gal. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I definitely have a very long torso for my body. So whenever I get like a size small, it'll always be an issue if it's a one piece. Now, I know not everybody has that issue and I know a lot of people love one pieces, but for me personally, I love the way they look. They're so cute, but they always are just really, really tight down here because they're pulling because my torso is too long so other than that this is super super cute it's pretty cheeky and open on the back like you have full back out here but it's a very secure swimsuit like obviously i don't feel like i'm gonna fall out of it in any way like i said before there's just like a little piece of fabric as the built-in bra and i didn't mention it but on the pink one there also isn't a built-in bra bra but the neoprene material is so thick i don't think there's anything to worry about it's as good as having like a little piece of padding if you have a long torso this might be a little bit of an issue just because there's not a lot of give to this fabric 
so it's kind of difficult to fit it. This brand we're going to dive into is Dippin' Daisies. Now this is the one that arguably I was most excited by the styles and the colors, but this is the brand that I ran into a little bit of a difficult time with, this brand and another one. So let me just explain to you guys what happened quickly. So as you guys saw in this video, it was a little bit difficult for me to find my size and the color I wanted, like available basically. There was a lot of items that were out of stock, but I eventually found two two pieces and one one piece and they were super cute. I liked them. They were in stock. Now, fast forward a week from when I ordered, I check my order description and I've had three pieces refunded because I guess that when they went to go and ship it, it was out of stock. So that was a little bit of a disappointment. Usually with brands, they'll know as someone's shopping on the website if it's out of stock or if it's in stock. Hence, a lot of things when I was shopping were out of stock, but the ones I chose weren't. So I assumed they wouldn't become out of stock because I think they thought they'd have a leverage on their stock that they could sell. If that made sense, I said stock a thousand times. Basically, what I'm trying to say is after maneuvering through the website and finding a lot of things that were, weren't available, but I eventually found available pieces after I purchased it all the payment info and everything went through they were refunded because they were actually out of stock so then I was like oh my goodness I don't think I have enough swimsuits to try so I went back on the website to make another order because I wanted to have enough to try for you guys because usually I would just be like oh it's out of stock it's refunded whatever I don't need to like replenish that order but since it's for a video I wanted to get more swimsuits for the video. And the issue with what was refunded was it was one piece from every set. So basically I had the two sets and the bottom from one was refunded and then the top from the other was refunded so I no longer had a matching set and then the one piece was also refunded. So it kind of made it a mess because now I couldn't get like a matching set I had to then match my new piece to the one that I had bought already for instance I had bought the orange piece and then the top was refunded so I had to find a new orange top it was just kind of confusing and now I'm left with like so much orange pieces for some reason and one pair of neon yellow bottoms and like I know for a fact I bought a matching top for the neon bottoms and I also know for a fact that I ordered like a one piece. So I'm just really confused with what I got sent and after all the confusions of like the refunds, the ordering, the reordering, and now I've got this. I'm just a little bit confused. So as far as Dippin' Daisies is concerned, even if the swimsuits are absolutely amazing, that's awesome. I give that a thumbs up if they are, but I will still just like word of advice is just don't get too excited if you've placed the order because it still could be refunded and clearly they have like a low amount of stock or something or they're just selling very quickly because a lot of pieces are out of stock or they're going to become out of stock even after you've made the purchase. I think you guys know what I'm trying to say, so let's just dive into these. I wanna open this one first because it seems so out of place and random. So here are these bottoms. Now I got these in a size small. The tag is very, very cute. I love the name Dip and Daisies, by the way. I just think that's so adorable. This has kind of like a swimsuit velvet feel to it. These actually look quite big. I'm excited to see. Oh wait, no, these were like high on the waist swim bottoms. I think that's why they might look a little bit bigger, but I should have had a pair for this, but I clearly don't. I have three orange pieces, so this is on its own, and I don't have any other swimsuits that will match this, so I don't know how much use I'll be getting out of it, but we'll see what the quality's like. But we will just try that on with a mismatched top. This also feels a little bit big. I don't know, maybe it's just holding it up it feels big. I usually am kind of wrong about that. This has a built-in little padded bra, which is nice. It's not like padded, like a push-up padded. It's just like a little bit of separation in here, and I think that you could take it out if you wanted to. Yeah, you could take it out the top. Here are the bottoms. Now, the reason why I thought they looked a little bit big is because they are a medium. I don't know why they should be medium when I ordered a small. But since this isn't actually a top I bought, they must have just assumed I was a medium when I'm actually a small. So they sent the top in a medium and y'all know I'm not gifted up top. So it's way too big. I'm swimming in it, which is great for my mom because she'll get it. 
but it's a little bit of a bummer for me. So hopefully the other ones fit. Okay, and then we actually have a pair of orange bottoms that match. These ones are super, super high-waisted. They feel just the same as the top. They have the two layers. Feels like just so soft and smooth. I'm excited to see how these look. So let's put it on with the orange top. I completely don't remember buying this top. It's because I didn't. That's not one of the ones I ordered. Not from either of the two orders. This makes so much sense why I'm so confused because here is my first order. I'll put it up on the screen. There was a one piece, a neon set, and an orange set. So the top from the orange set got refunded. The one piece got refunded and the bottoms from the neon set got refunded. So I was left then with a neon top and an orange bottom and no one piece. So then my second order, I ordered another one piece, which is nowhere to be found. And then I ordered the same top that was refunded, but I got it in pink this time because I thought pink and orange could go together. And that one is also nowhere to be found. And then I got the neon yellow bottoms and they are here. So I didn't order this top. And interestingly enough, I also didn't order this top. So I will still try on this top so you guys can see the quality and everything. But I have to ask if you guys have had any problems with this before. Like, is it just me? Because honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it's just me having these issues. I really don't want to talk bad about a brand over a shipping issue. And I'm sure if I emailed, I could probably get some like buddy to fix this. But it is really bizarre. Like, I'm confused. But the weird thing now with the bottoms is these are a size medium. And I just checked my order and I did in fact get them in a small. So I'm just super confused. No idea what size this one is. I think it's a medium as well because it's a little bit baggy. That being said, it's actually very cute. It's definitely a little bit too big. I would have liked to be at a size, oh my gosh, my clasp is like about to fly open. Whoa. The fabric feels so great. It has the built-in bra. All the styles and colors are totally like things that I would be drawn to. So then to have this shipping issue and this confusion with the refund and then them shipping products I didn't order and in different sizes that I didn't order, it's very confusing and like a piece of me wants to like order again from them, but I already did twice and I had mistakes both times. So I don't know if a rep from D Dip and Daisies is watching this, um, be sure to like message me on Instagram or something if you have like an explanation for this. Cause I know that like shipping right now is a little bit confusing, but this just seems really strange. But if we're just talking about the swimsuits, none of the other stuff, the swimsuits feel good. I would have liked to get them in my actual size, but I think that they're very cute. I mean like, this is an adorable swimsuit and I think I'll probably wear this for sure. Okay, so now we have the package from 437. Now, no shipping issues here. It came super quickly and everything I ordered is in here, I believe. I got one two piece and one one piece. Okay, so here is the one piece. It's black. It has these two straps on the side and they are very, very high on the waist. This one will make a little bit more sense on. It also has 437, a little product placement that you can't get rid of. It's almost like there's a tag on the inside and also one on the outside so everybody knows where your swimsuit is from. I do not like the fact that there are no like pads here because it's like, okay, fine, you don't want like padded bra or whatever, but it's like you could always give the option and then have it be able to be taken out. Like the swimsuits from Dip and Daisies we just tried, there's padding and then you can take it out if you want because everybody has a personal preference on that. Whereas for this one, there's no option for it. So it's really just this thin fabric. I don't know if this is gonna be the most flattering for me, but let's try it. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is not, I'm scared to move. Like genuinely look how high up these go. I also have some hip dip action on display right now. It's very extra, I guess. My long torso is definitely just emphasizing the design of this. It feels super, super nice and soft and it feels very like nicely built. Like I don't think it would break or anything. And I like this little tie up here cause it kind of, if you have a little bit of a, a tummy, it'll like, 
cover it. You guys might not be able to see, but there's like a little bow right here. One thing that's a little bit annoying just because it is pulling so hard is there's like some gapping right here with fabric. If you can see that, I don't like how it's like pulling there because it makes me look kind of like box shaped. Also, this is probably the most cheeky swimsuit I have tried to date and I don't usually like showing so much, but it's like you guys are very curious about what the back of the swimsuit looks like. Also, I have mirrors right here if you're wondering why I keep like looking over. I like it, but I will never wear it. Okay, and then we have this swimsuit. Now this one, you could wear it like a ton of different ways. I'm excited to see how this feels because it was like a towel. Oh yeah, this feels like a towel. We've got the most scandalous swim bottoms I probably own to date. And this feels like a genuine towel, but it doesn't just feel like a towel. It feels like a hotel towel. No padding on this. It really just feels like a cut of a towel. We're gonna put this uh, set on and try it a few different ways because it's can be worn so many different ways and maybe that justifies the price a little bit because it's not like buying one swimsuit, it's like buying 10 swimsuits, but we'll see. Whew, okay, I got this top on. Now I have a picture of like all the many options of how you can wear this. So before that, I'll just tell you guys, it totally just feels like a towel. And I guess it is the towel top. It's got no padding, but it's kind of like a thick enough fabric that it's not anything to worry about. I do kind of worry about though when it gets like wet that I feel like it'll be kind of see-through. These bottoms are as little as you may be thinking. OMG, this is definitely, definitely censored. Okay, my next attempt at this top is not quite as cute as I was hoping. Um, I don't know if I would, I feel like I'm in a straight jacket to be honest. The options looked a lot better on the girl in the picture. Okay, lastly, the swimsuits from We Wore What. Now, I did have a problem with this too. Now this one I think may have been my fault, unlike Dip and Daisies, which I think was the brand's fault. I think that this issue I had could have been my own doing, basically, Two weeks into uh, waiting for all these products, uh, we were what was nowhere to be seen. So I went to find my order confirmation and it was nowhere to be seen. So I guess I didn't place an order is where I came to the conclusion, which is so weird because I literally remember putting in all my uh, credit card info, putting in all my shipping address and everything. And I remember placing the order. Okay, the we were what is confirmed but i never got the confirmation i never got charged on my credit card that was too bad because then when i went to reorder the swimsuits that i initially had bought were no longer in stock so i decided to go over to revolve where they sell we wore what swimsuits and i thought maybe i'd have better luck on that website buying the swimsuits than on the we wore what website that didn't confirm my order the last time. So these will be a surprise to you guys because you didn't see these ones that I ended up getting. So it looks like there's actually one pair and then two different tops. This is just like what there was to choose from because everything then had been picked over and again, lots of things were out of stock. Okay, so the first thing are these really high-waisted, so, so cute, almost like retro style mint bottoms. It's almost like a half top. There's no padding in here, but there is an underwire. So underwires can be a little bit uncomfortable, but I think for this style, it was kind of necessary to get this look. I love that there's adjustable straps and there's also an adjustable clasp on the back, which is really nice. And I really like the gold detailing. So let's go ahead and put this on and see how it looks on bod. Oh my goodness. Okay. I love this swimsuit. It's so cute. And I'm surprised because like it doesn't have any padding, but for some reason, I totally trust this swimsuit and I really, really like it. I love the bottom with the little belt. It's like so cute and like retro style. It's a little cheeky on the back. Well, like quite a bit cheeky, like you have whole half the boot completely out and exposed to the universe. For some reason, the fact that they're like high-waisted, I feel like kind of counteracts that. I love the set together. This for sure gets a thumbs up from me. Okay, so you guys can probably remember when we were shopping, I was so obsessed with the cow print, but it was completely out of stock on the We Wore What website. Well, there was an extra small available on Revolve, so I decided to get it. Sadly, the bottoms were out of stock, so I just got the top. But I mean, like, this is pretty easy. Like, I could wear this with white bottoms or black bottoms or any ones that I want, so I didn't feel like I had to get 
any bottoms to go with this. A really, really thin piece of fabric. There's two pieces here, the black on the inside and then the print on the outside. So it just wraps around like this. Well, I won't put it on yet. I'll put it on in the other room. Okay, so obviously picture this with like some black bottoms or something, but this is a really adorable top. Here's what it looks like in the back. It's just like a big square. It's very easy to wear. Like there's, I don't feel like I'm gonna fly out of it. I don't feel like it's gonna break. I love the pattern. No wonder this is like selling out everywhere because this is so adorable and really, I don't know why, but is it a flattering print? I almost think it is. I really, really love this top. Even though there's no padding, I just think like the style and the print totally won me over. It's very expensive. So you have to absolutely love it to purchase it in my opinion, but I am happy I have it and it, this video was a great excuse to get it, but I think in my everyday normal life, I probably wouldn't splurge on it. Okay, and lastly, this is the same style as the mint one, but this pattern just caught my attention. This is so cute. It reminds me of Up for some reason, which I just like, I love it. So let's throw it on. Okay, I actually kind of like this top with these bottoms. They sort of go together. This top has a little bit of this green in it. So this is super cute. It's the exact same style as the mint green one, which is kind of my bad. I probably should have got a different style, but it's very adorable. This is just a really well-made swimsuit. Like it's very thick material, really adorable pattern. Looks like kind of like a detailed, difficult thing to sew. <sighs> okay, you guys, what do you think? Do you think these swimsuits were worth their hefty price tag. I am a little bit conflicted because I almost, while I'm trying them on, I forget how much they were and I just start to really like them. And then I have to be kind of humbled by the price. You know, if you really like them and you really wanna splurge, I did like quite a few of them, but that being said, there's a lot of other inexpensive brands that I can try out and have tried out in the past that have more affordable swimsuits that are also really good. So it just depends on what you're willing to spend for something that you want. It'd be nice for them to have like an affordable option at least, like there's the expensive ones and the more affordable ones. I'm still just so confused at Dip and Daisies. I'm really hoping that in the future, there will be a redemption video. I know a lot of brands are struggling with the shipping and maybe it was just a big confusion. I don't wanna hold the brand, like I don't wanna hold that against the brand because the swimsuits were cute, but there was a big mess up and I can't ignore that obviously. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys out if you were thinking about getting from these brands or maybe it was just entertaining. Either way, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in the next one.